Ink Ribbon. So as a Tomb Raider fan, every now and then I'll notice a reference or easter egg relating to Lara Croft, which isn't too surprising given that she is a gaming icon. I decided to make a video showing every single Tomb Raider reference I could find and, uh, well, I was not prepared for exactly how many there would be. So much so that I actually had to split this video up between games and other media like TV shows and movies. And uh, there's not really an elegant way to present these, so I'm just going to list them off. And I know I'm probably going to miss some references on this list, but uh, here are all the references to Tomb Raider I was able to find in other video games. In The Witcher 3, during the quest The Great Escape, Geralt will say... <laughs> Tomb Raider. Seems this one liked Elven stuff. Barbie Explorer for the PS1 is a Tomb Raider ripoff. I did a whole video about that if you're interested in learning more. Wow, what a magnificent peacock! In Hitman Absolution, there is a bag and a newspaper that all refer to Lara, specifically in Underworld, after her mansion blew up. In Sid Meier's Civilization V, there's an achievement called Tomb Raider. In Carmageddon 2, one of the pedestrians that you can run over is dressed like Lara. In the adventure game Art of Murder, FBI Confidential, after returning from Peru, her boss refers to her as Lara Croft. I want your final report by tonight. I'll have to hit that library again to do that. Fine, vacation time's over, Lara Croft. Just get it done. Hey! That was no vacation out there. I bled to move this investigation forward. In Assassin's Creed Black Flag, there's an optional contract called Tomb Raiders. In the game Primal, there's a tombstone that says Lara Croft on it, and is promptly smashed. Jennifer, a little respect, please. In the 1997 game Blood, the cheat for all weapons and ammo is Lara Croft. In Asterisk and Obelix XXL 2, there's a character that bears just the slightest resemblance to Lara, and goes by Larry Craft. Ave Caesar! Ave yourself, Centurion Larry Craft. So, what news have you? Two things, Caesar! What good and what bad! In the game Druna Morbus Gravis, if I said that correctly, there is a Lara Croft outfit if you enter a cheat code. This is the only screenshot I was able to find of it. In the game Clive and Wrench, Lara Cruz is a character you run into in Tempest Tombs. In Spyro Year of the Dragon, there's a character named Terra who is an obvious parody of Lara Croft. Well, look at you, showing up here to raid the tomb after I've done all the hard work. I've spent all day pressing switches and shoving boxes around, and you just waltz in here expecting to claim the treasure. Well, you might as well have it. It's only a lousy egg anyway. In Counter-Strike Condition Zero Deleted Scenes, the movie theater marquee displays several things including the film Womb Raider. There's a Crash Bandicoot level called Tomb Waiter, which also takes place in a tomb. In the game Duke Nukem Time to Kill, you can see Lara's outfit hanging in a closet. You skanky outfit. Ooh, that hit the spot. Duke will also say her name when you have this interesting interaction with a payphone. Oh yeah. Uh, uh. Ooh, Laura, is that you? <sighs> In the game Cat Quest, there's an archaeologist named Kara Loft. In the game Shadow Warrior, you can find Lara tied up and hanging in a questionable scenario. <laughs> She's ready to last doom. In the game Agony, there is an achievement called Lara Would Be Proud. 
In the game Dragon Seed, there is a secret Raider Dragon if you have a save file from Tomb Raider 2 on your memory card. In the game Fighting Force, there is a subtle but clear easter egg referencing Lara Croft. In the train station area, if you take a close look at the graffiti on the cars, you can see Lara painted on one of them. Final Fantasy X-2 featured a new design for Yuna, specifically her gunner dress sphere, which was confirmed to be inspired by Lara Croft. In Final Fantasy XV, Lara can appear randomly in some photos. The game Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine is a blatant Tomb Raider ripoff. Spider-Man 2018 featured a store called Tome Raider in a very similar font to Tomb Raider. In the game Life is Strange, Max says that she wants to be like Lara Croft. Go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. There are two different mobile Final Fantasy games, and Lara Croft is featured in both of them. Lara was an unlockable character in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, and she was also in Final Fantasy Brave Exvius War of the Visions. I know that I probably missed some, but there you have it. All the references that I could find at least in games. The references from movies and TV shows will be in part two, and there's just as many, if not more. Oh, you must be here for the. Hey, feel free to look around and. If I missed any other references, please leave them down in the comments and let me know which one was your favorite. I threw out my back at the gym and I'm in an incredible amount of pain, so I'm going to finish editing this and go lay on the floor. I'm Kai Morgan, and as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon. And a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Your extra support means the world to me and helps me keep making content for you guys.